pretty suit of uh, the drug versus the alcohol. Oh, my favorite subject. <laughs> <laughs> I think a man can keep on drinking for a century. He'll never die. Especially wine and beer. But I've met too many young people, especially when I was working for Open City, just smoking marijuana within a two-year period who were intelligent at first, and after two years of marijuana, they just came around and they go, hey, hey, how you doing? Uh, I'm going to be the, one of the first to say that marijuana is very ultimately destructive and that finally there'll be government studies to prove that it's totally harmful, much more harmful than it's ever been exposed to have been. Because I've seen it through people that just end up, hey, Hey, and I don't like that. I like drunkards, man, because drunkards, they come out of it and they're sick and they spring back, they spring back and forth. But even the light drug freaks, they're just, okay, okay. It's like all mind circulation, all spirit has been cut off. I met good old alcoholics, you know, this old guy, Jim, in the, I, got, I don't know if he's in, yeah, yeah he's in, he was a great old guy, he got drunk every night, but his face was human, you know, he'd talk to, he'd say, well, Hank, he'd talk a definite language, his other, you know, these kids, yeah, there's, uh, so, yeah, I'm anti-drugs, put me down, it's a very, very lousy way to go. Just out of what I've seen, I can't go. It. Be an alcoholic. If you got to be anything, be an alcoholic. What? What? Uh, what can it bring? Alcoholism, well, or drunkenness. If I hadn't been a drunkard. I probably would have committed suicide long ago, you know, working the factories, the eight-hour job, the slums, the streets. Okay, you work a goddamn lousy job, you know. You come home at night, you're tired. What are you going to do? Go to a movie, turn on your radio in a three-dollar-a-week room? Or are you going to rest up and wait for the job the next day for $1.75 an hour? Hell no, you're going to get a bottle of whiskey and drink it. And go down to a bar, or maybe get in a fist fight, and meet some bitch. Something's going on. Then you go to work the next day and do your simple little things, right? But you're not going to just... Do your eight-hour job, go back to your place in the bicycle factory. This guy told me I was working to buy. He said, you can have a job here all your life if you want. Great. Wow. I mean, alcohol gives you the release of the dream without the deadness of uh, drugs, you know. You can come back down. You have your hangover to face. That's the tough part. You get over it. You do your job, you come back, you drink again. I'm all for alcohol, I'll tell you. It's the thing.